In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your Ethereum address and your Polygon address so that you can participate in the Hard Fork Gaming airdrops and token giveaways. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is inside of Chrome, you're gonna to want to go to metamask.io. When you're on this website, go ahead and click on download now and then install MetaMask for Chrome. It's gonna open up the Chrome web store over here and you're gonna go ahead and add it to Chrome. I'm actually using the Brave browser for this tutorial, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's built on Chrome. So for you, this will say add to Chrome. If you're using Brave, it says add to Brave. So go ahead and click the button that says add to Chrome or add to Brave here, click add extension, and then you'll see it added a little icon up here in the top right of your browser. So go ahead and let's follow the instructions. We're gonna go ahead and click get started. If you don't have an Ethereum address yet, go ahead and click create a wallet, read their terms and go ahead and agree to them and then create a password. This password is going to be the password that you use to access your wallet. So when you click to access your little wallet up in the right corner up here, this is the password you're going to enter to access that. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a password real quick and then agree to their terms and we'll go ahead and create a wallet. They have a little walkthrough video here. Go ahead and watch this. And when you're done watching the video, click next. And then you're gonna get this secret recovery phrase. Now this is very, very important. You're going to want to grab this secret recovery phrase and store it somewhere safe. Preferably write it down with a pen and paper and store that somewhere safe because this is how you're gonna get access to your wallet again when you go to set it up on a different browser or if you ever lose access to your MetaMask. This secret recovery phrase will pull back up your MetaMask wallet and once again, restore access to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reveal our phrase here. We're gonna copy all of this for right now. I'm actually gonna put it into a notepad for the moment for our example here, but you're gonna wanna write this down on a piece of paper. You're not going to want to have this in a notepad on your computer that's connected to the internet because if anybody gets access to this phrase here, they're gonna be able to get access to your MetaMask wallet. So make sure you store it in a safe place and you put it somewhere where you're gonna remember where it is and you're gonna be able to have access to it. So once you've written down your recovery phrase, go ahead and click next. And now it wants you to select each phrase in order to make sure it's correct. And so you're gonna put these words in order and just confirm that you have it correctly. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. And then we'll go ahead and confirm that that is the correct order. We pass the test and we are all done. Now I have a MetaMask wallet here. If it does not show up in the top right of your Brave or Chrome browser, go ahead and click on this little puzzle or blob icon or whatever the heck this is. Click on that and click this little pin button next to your MetaMask and you'll see your MetaMask wallet show up here. If you click here, your MetaMask wallet should show up and show you how much Ethereum you have in your wallet. Now you have an Ethereum address as well. This right here is your Ethereum address. If I click copy to clipboard, I can go ahead and paste it, this up here and you can see this is the Ethereum address. So when people ask, what's your public Ethereum address? This is the one that you give them. You click on the little Fox MetaMask icon, click on copy to clipboard. That is the address that you can safely share publicly and people can send you stuff to that wallet. They can't take anything from your wallet using this address. They can only send stuff to your wallet using this address. So this address is safe to share, to receive things into your wallet. Now we're also going to add a Polygon wallet to our MetaMask account so that we can receive Matic as well as Ethereum. So in order to do that, we're gonna come over to a website called chainlist.org. And we're going to add the Polygon wallet into our MetaMask wallet up here so that we can accept both Ethereum and Polygon to this address here. So I'm gonna come up here to search networks. I'm gonna type in Polygon, do a quick search. You can see we've got Polygon mainnet here. We're gonna click connect wallet. And then we're gonna click next. And then we're gonna click connect. And then it's gonna present us with a button that says add to MetaMask. So we're gonna go ahead and click add to MetaMask. And then we're going to approve this. And then we're gonna switch the network over to this new Polygon network. Now, if I come up here to my MetaMask again and open this, you can see I now says Polygon mainnet up here. So now I've got Ethereum mainnet and Polygon mainnet. So if somebody is sending you Polygon or USDT or USDC or something like that on the Polygon network, you're gonna make sure that this is selected on Polygon. If somebody is sending you something on the Ethereum network, you wanna make sure this is selected as Ethereum. 
but you can use this same address now. So if you have an Ethereum address, it's going to be the same address as your Polygon address. You could use that same address interchangeably. And if somebody sends something with a Polygon token, it will go into your Polygon wallet. If somebody sends something with an Ethereum token, it'll go into your Ethereum wallet. But now you have an address for both Ethereum and Polygon. And if you're signing up for the Hard Fork Gaming whitelist, this is the address that you want to add into that Ethereum address line item so that you can receive our NFTs and airdrops. And don't forget to subscribe to Hard Fork Gaming for free NFT airdrops, alpha and tutorials like this one, because 